Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I was actually supposed to go into work, but the weather is so bad outside because we got like a whole bunch of snow and ice that the mall ended up closing. So, I actually already got ready and everything and I was like in my car whenever my boss texted me and told me that uh, I didn't have to come in because we were closing. So, I'm gonna film some videos for you guys. So you'll probably definitely see this makeup look 710 times. So I apologize if you do. But, oh my gosh, why are there so many fuzzies? Hopefully you can't see them. You probably can though. I gotta look tinsy and hold on. How you doing? Come here. Come here, baby. Are you a pretty baby in the world? Does someone not like the snow and ice? No. Say no because I'm too cold. I get too cold. All right, mommy got to film the video. Okay? 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 Oh. Look at that face, though. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. All right. Um, anywho, in today's video, as you guys know, um, I turned 23. Well, you may not know. <laughs> I turned 23 on December 22nd, and I actually wanted this video to go up on December 22nd, but, um... <laughs> Your girl kind of procrastinates a little bit and uh, didn't end up going up because I didn't film it because I just forgot <laughs> about it. Tinsley, no. Mommy's filming, okay? Mommy's filming. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're so cute. I would... Come here, let me look. Oh my gosh, she lost another tooth. Uh, those are your big girl teeth. You keep losing them. Well, she is almost six, so. Oh my gosh, that makes me so sad. She's growing up. Terrible. Anyway, um, I wanted to film this video for my birthday, but I didn't get around to doing, to doing it because I suck. Um, so we're going to do it now, and it's just going to go up a little bit later. Um, so today is going to be like a 23 facts about me, you know, since I turned 23. I saw somebody else do this on YouTube. I think her name's... I'll leave her link down, or I'll leave her thing down below, her video, Brittany something, I can't, Lorene, Lauren, I don't know, something like that, it's Brittany and then it starts with an L, it actually it could not start with an L, it could be anything else, I don't know, but I'll leave it linked down below, um, I'm just in like the little corner where my Christmas tree used to be, which it's still right here next to me because I'm lazy and haven't put it away yet, <laughs> so, it's okay, it's, it's not February yet, so it's fine, um, but yeah, so I'm just in this little corner because the rest of my room is a complete and total disaster. <laughs> and I kind of didn't want you guys to see that. So I'm in this like creepy little corner that has like some lights, but there's no rhyme or reason to where the lights are shown. We got a plug in over here. So in a corner, just a, a corner. So just ignore the setup behind me and just focus on the facts. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, so yeah, let's get go ahead and get started. So 23 feet fix 23 fix 23 facts about your girl Logan So let's go ahead and get into it So the very first fact I just have them all written down right here. The very first fact is I actually like love to paint and actually love to draw too, but that, that wasn't the fact. That was just a bonus fact. I love, love, love to paint. And I actually use to paint coolers. Oh, dang it, I should have brought that over here. I'll get up and get it in a second. But I actually used to paint coolers and I kind of had like a little bit of a side business where I would paint coolers for people and then they would buy them. So yeah, hold on and let me get mine so you guys can see it. I have pajama pants on. So also ignore that because I can't get my life together apparently. Um, you guys may have seen this in the back of my videos before. There's so much fuzzies in the air. And I apologize if you can see them. You may have seen these in like the back part of my videos before because it's always set up like in the back somewhere behind me. Um, just because that's the only space I have for it right now. But this is what it looks like. It just has the burn book right here. This is pretty old so like it the thing is already turned yellow and everything so it, it's pretty old so it doesn't look as good as what it used to and it's coming off in spaces but I don't think you can see it on camera it actually looks like pretty good on camera but um yeah so I just painted all of this freehand and so there's burn book on the side this I didn't paint this I actually like printed pages off and then like mod podge them on top and then pizza because you know pizza 
<laughs> like I don't even have to like give a reason for pizza. And then this little sunset and then some starfish, some flip flops and then butterflies. I didn't paint these butterflies either. I actually like printed these off as well and then Mod Podge them on there and then a bow. And then on top, it just has my monogram LFL and then just kind of like this full painting. You can see the paint is coming off in some spots because this is super duper old and I use it like crazy. I apologize if you can hear Tinsley because she is going insane. Tinsley! No. Mommy's filming. You gotta stop. You're gonna have to get out of my room if you keep doing it. Okay? Okay. I think she understands. But yeah, so that is like my very first fact. I actually used to paint coolers and I would sell them. But I'll go ahead and insert a couple pictures of some other coolers that I did. Um, just so you guys can kind of see the coolers that I made. Okay, and then my second fact is my favorite candy. My favorite candy is the um, sour straw bites and strawberry. They are my absolute favorite. They are amazing. They taste so stinging good. I'm obsessed. They're my favorite candy of all time. I love it. All right, and then my third fact is. I have changed my major like five times. I literally have it written down. I've changed my major like five times. I, I really have changed it so many times. I, I don't know the exact number. Um, I just keep changing it over and over again. So far, I'm still with communications though. So, it's been a year, but I'm still with communications. So that's pretty good. All right, my fourth fact is that I actually have hypothyroidism. And I could actually make a whole entire video about this if you guys would like me to. Um, but yeah, I have hypothyroidism and I've had it for quite some time and it sucks. Like it sucks, which actually a lot of people have it and it's like just undiagnosed and stuff. So yeah, if you know anything about hypothyroidism, it sucks. It's terrible. But I finally got mine regulated. So that's awesome. All right. So f my fifth fact, apparently we're just talking about my medical issues. Um, my fifth fact is that I actually had a lump removed from my breast whenever I was 16 years old. Um, I had just turned 16 whenever I had it removed. I just, I found a lump in my breast one day and then I went to the doctor and they're like, let's watch it. And then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then so a couple months later, I had it removed. So yeah, I had a lump removed from my breast whenever I was 16 years old, which it ended up being completely benign or anything. It ended up being completely benign, so it wasn't cancerous or anything. It was literally just like a giant mass, and it was disgusting. Like, it looked so gross. I used to have a picture of it. I don't think I have one anymore, but it literally looked disgusting. Like, it was so gross. I don't have any lipstick right there in that one spot. Ignore that, please. Please ignore that. I didn't... How did I do that? Yeah, there's no lipstick there. Whatever. Whatever. Moving on. Um, oh, I absolutely love Kevin Hart and I have seen him twice live. He's amazing. He's the best. Um, and the people that go on tour with him are really, really, really funny as well. Like literally Kevin Hart, hands down, is my favorite comedian of all time. He is hilarious. I've actually went and seen, um, Amy Schumer as well in concert or in concert live and um was not a fan whatsoever i like loved 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 amy schumer and i like watched like her comedy shows on youtube literally for months and months and months and then um tj surprised me with tickets to see amy schumer for my birthday like in, i think 2015 and it was actually the worst show i've ever seen in my entire life like, it was so bad. She was on there for maybe 15 minutes on the stage. And then she, like, just herself was on the stage for 15 minutes. And then the rest of the time was other people that, like, was with her. Like, other comedians that were with her. And so it was a huge disappointment. And, like, it wasn't funny at all. It was actually kind of, I don't know, mean. <laughs> Some of the things that she was saying was actually kind of mean. Um... So I just wasn't a fan of it whatsoever. Um, I still love Amy, Amy Schumer, and I still watch like her comedy shows on YouTube sometimes. Um, but no, like seeing her in concert, I wished it was. I don't know if it was just that particular show, or maybe I don't know. Maybe she got sick. I don't know. But she was Tinsley. Stop it. 
She was only on stage for 15 minutes, um, actually saying any jokes. All right, I'm like bending down like this so you guys can actually see me because I don't want to move my um, tripod because I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Like, that's a bonus fact. Actually, honestly, like, you don't even need me to tell you that because I think you guys know already. All right, fact number seven. The Office is my favorite TV show of all time. I'm literally obsessed with it. I've seen it like 16 times. I absolutely love it. And the funniest thing about it is the fact that I like wouldn't watch it because like I started like the first episode and I'm like, this sucks. Like this literally sucks. And TJ's like, no, like you have to give it a chance. It's literally the most amazing TV show you'll ever watch in your entire life. And I'm like, no, like no. And then eventually I sat down, watched the whole entire thing and I'm obsessed. I literally love it. It's so good. You're just getting a full medical history apparently because I wrote a lot of medical things on here. I don't have a lot of cool facts about myself, just a lot of like medical issues. So that's fun, that's fun. Okay, fact number eight. I've been put to sleep for like surgeries or procedures nine times. And all nine times I've woken up and been literally a complete and total bitch. Like literally I am not someone who can uh, handle anesthesia like literally I'm I'm the worst person on it I'm so mean it's I'm literally so mean and I don't even know why like I literally don't even know why but I mean my brother is also very mean as well he may be meaner than me but we're we're just we don't react well with anesthesia at all um, especially my mom could tell you some stories <laughs> like the most recent one whenever I really wanted to go to IHOP and she wouldn't take me. But, okay, moving on. Um, fact number nine, I had, I had braces from sixth grade to eighth grade. I actually got them removed at the beginning of eighth grade, and it was the most wonderful thing in the entire world to happen to me. It was amazing. Braces were absolutely horrendous. They hurt, and I, I wanted them so, so, so bad. I was like, braces are so cool. They are so cute. And then I got them, and I was like, I want them removed today. They're terrible. But they did give me some pretty good teeth. So I guess the pain was kind of worth it, a little bit. Even though they're moving, because I don't wear my retainer. Because I forget. Okay, and then fact number 10, I absolutely love fishing. I think it is so, so, so much fun, especially, like, whenever you're actually catching them. That is the best time in the entire world and I actually fished tournaments with my dad I haven't done it in the last couple years but I actually used to fish tournaments with him and I've won big bass once we've gotten first once and then we've gotten fifth once because I have my plaques on my wall on my shelf you may have seen them I don't know I don't know if I've ever filmed a video where you've seen them but yes I have my plaques up there and so yeah I've gotten I actually got big bass whenever I was like 13 I think I was like super duper young and it was huge it was massive fact number 11 if I had to choose a favorite makeup brand like I had to only choose one I'm still gonna choose two because I haven't narrowed it down to which one's my favorite I have to choose either Too Faced or Becca I'm just a humongous fan of them both I really 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 like them I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Too Faced because I actually really really love the Too Faced foundation the Born This Way foundation Whereas I haven't found a foundation that works for me from Becca. Um, so Too Faced. Yes, Too Faced. I just decided. Too Faced is my favorite makeup brand. If I had to choose one, it'd be Too Faced. Um, number 12. My I have two favorite movies. And they are The Notebook, because <laughs> Ryan Gosling. And then National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It was my favorite movie growing up. I would watch it year round. And it's still one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love it. It. It's just so good. It's so good and so funny. It's cute. And they cussed, so I liked that a lot too. <laughs> I actually got to watch a movie where they cussed, so I think that may have been a little bit why it was one of my favorite movies. Fact number 13, I won best smile and best hair in high school. You know like the little things that they do like on your senior year where like you get voted like most likely to you know do stuff. Yeah, I won best smile and best hair. And then literally a week after I graduated, I cut it all off. <laughs> so.
so. And then if I had to choose a favorite skincare brand, it would be Sunday Riley, hands down. I am obsessed with that skincare brand, literally. Everything I've tried from there is amazing. I'm obsessed. You guys need to go try it if you haven't. It is such a good brand, like literally so, so, so good. Um, if I had to recommend any product from that line, it would be the Good Jeans. It's amazing, it's life-changing. It will literally, your life will be changed instantly whenever you put it on your face. It's so good. 15, my biggest regret, <laughs> getting deep. That would have to be not sticking up for myself in like middle school and high school. Um, I was bullied quite a lot in both both middle school and high school um I and in middle school I really really let it affect me in high school I really didn't let it affect me I just kind of like brush it off and like didn't do anything about it whereas I wish I would have stood up for myself in high school I mean middle school you don't really you know what I mean like I'm not even upset about that but in middle school or in high school I just like I didn't stick up for myself in any way I just I literally didn't let it affect me because I didn't care about the particular people that were bullying me and so I mean, I guess that's a good thing in a sense, but I wish I would have at least like stood up for myself and been like, hey, you can't do that. Instead, I just like let them do it and like didn't do anything about it. So I didn't let it affect me, but I still wish I would have said something. Like I wish I would have opened up my mouth and been like, hey, no, you're not gonna bully me because you guys suck, but I didn't. So that is definitely like my biggest regret of all time. Um, yeah, cause I don't really like to regret things I kind of try and, you know, I kind of try to do that philosophy where, like, there's no regrets, just decisions. Um, but that is actually a regret. Like, I really, really wish I would have done something differently in that aspect. Okay, and then the next one is number 16. The, my 16th fact about myself is I was actually a member of the Outdoorsman Club. It is a club that was in my high school where we would um, volunteer and we would help like paralyzed um, veterans and just like paralyzed people in general and would help them do like outdoor activities and like you know outdoorsman activities. Um, so like hunting and fishing and um, shooting clay pigeons and like all of that stuff um, we would help them do that. Um, so yeah, it was super duper fun and it's actually my favorite thing about high school, literally in the entire world. Like that is my favorite memory from high school is um, doing the Outdoorsman Club. I absolutely loved it. It was such an amazing experience and I'm so glad that my school had that because um, it was just so, so, so much fun. 17, I am literally the clumsiest person on the face of the earth like literally I'm so clumsy it's it's an issue um, my family actually like literally says this same quote every single time because um, I'm constantly running into things like all the time and they always say oh yeah Logan we just moved that we just moved that there literally like I'm running into walls and then they'll always be like yeah we just moved that there yesterday Logan like they literally always say that whenever I'm running into things because I'm so clumsy. I just, I don't even understand how it happens, but I will run into like the wall. Like I'll literally bump my shoulder on the wall and I'm just like, it's been there for like the last 22 years because I've lived in this house for 22 years. How, how is this even happening? But yeah, so they, um, they always say that whenever like I run into things. They're like, yeah, we just moved that yesterday, Logan. We just put that wall up. So Funny little, funny little thing. Um, fact number 18, I actually have six piercings and they are all in my ears. All right. Number 19, my favorite NBA player is Stephen Curry. He's my absolute favorite, his whole entire family I'm obsessed with. And then my favorite NCAA player is Grayson Allen from Duke. I love him. I literally love him. I follow him on Twitter. He doesn't follow back. I wish he, I wish he did, but he doesn't. But yeah, he's my favorite NCAA, NCAA player and Duke is my favorite team. Okay, number 20, my favorite alcoholic beverages. Um, so for like a mixed drink, it would be an Amaretto Sour. For like a shot, a little crazy, um, it would be Jack Daniels Whiskey. And then for beer, which is usually what I drink, it would be a Michelob Ultra. But recently, I've kind of been switching it up and really, really liking Bud Light. 
Fact number 21, which is something I actually discovered whenever I was 21, I actually have Barrett's esophagus. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it on this channel or anything like that, but it's just like a precancerous condition that's in your esophagus. And so I have to get, um, what's the word? Whoa, I literally forgot the word. Oh, no, I didn't. I have to get endoscopies every single year um, and sometimes twice a year just to make sure that it never actually turns into cancer, which the chances of it turning into cancer is really, really slim. It's just, it's in, just increased. Like, my chances are increased compared to other people's chances of getting it, um, which my grandpa actually did pass away from esophagus cancer, and so it's kind of like a really, like a, it's definitely a scary thing since he did pass away from it. All right, and then I only have two more facts to go. So my 22nd fact is I actually have the biggest sweet tooth on the face of the earth. I would eat sweets and candy for every single meal. Like I'm literally like Elf, like Elf from the movie Elf. Um, I literally would eat sweets 24 seven. Like literally, I'd probably, I put sugar on my spaghetti. Like I'm literally I have the biggest sweet tooth on the planet. I get it from my dad, but I'm actually very, very sensitive to sugar, which is great. Like, it's awesome being sensitive to sugar whenever that's all you crave, like, it's all you want. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very sensitive to sugar in multiple sense. Like, one, it affects me, like, energy level. Definitely get a ton of energy whenever I eat sugar, as well as it, it is definitely a huge trigger for me stomach-wise. Words. It's a huge trigger for me stomach wise. It makes my stomach hurt so, so, so bad. And then also it makes my face hurt. Like I have, like, I don't know what it is. It's just like a sensitivity where my face will hurt whenever I eat a lot of sugar. Um, and honestly, like a lot for me would literally just be like a donut. Um, it would just be so much sugar for me that it will make my face hurt, which is so strange, I know, but it will actually make the whole entire my whole entire face hurt and it will make my face swell a little bit as well it sucks it's terrible it's literally horrible because that's all I want to eat sugar <laughs> but yeah okay and then the very last fact my 23rd fact about myself is that my life completely changed whenever I laid it down to the Lord it may sound super duper cheesy and, you know, some people, you know, may, may not like it, but, um, my life just completely changed whenever I gave myself wholeheartedly to the Lord. Um, it changed in the best way possible. And I am so, so, so grateful for just all of the blessings that I have in my entire life. And I owe that 150,000%. To the Lord, I am so, so, so blessed. And honestly, I'm even blessed with just struggles that I went through in my life um, because I would not be the person that I am today. And I would never have came to the Lord if I wouldn't have faced those struggles. So yeah, that is my 23 facts about myself. I hope you guys learned a little bit more from um, this video. Um, you definitely learned basically my whole entire medical history. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.